All right. Oh, goodness. We have, uh, you want to take us to Wayne, Pete? One more question. Yeah, this week from Wayne. Wayne writes in, guys, I really enjoy your show every week. I think Adam was a great addition to the crew. I'm noticing a theme here, Dave. I know. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, so. <laughs> no, I agree. I absolutely agree. Yes. <laughs> so do I. This has been awesome. Yeah. Uh, I have a question that I want to run past you guys. Could each of you give me your two cents on which router each of you have or would get today to replace an aging Air Apple Airport Extreme? I am currently still running the Extreme because it just works, but would like to update to a current faster router. I currently have an M1 Max Mac Studio along with my current iPhone 15 Pro Max. I really appreciate all the terrific advice you guys give your listeners and we'll look forward to hearing what each of you have to say. Sincerely, Wayne. Amazing. Thanks, yeah. Wayne. Yeah. Um, the first, I'm happy to share what I use, uh, but the first question I ask myself in any environment where I'm setting up wireless, and so I, I would ask of you or have you ask of yourselves is, do you need or want the ability to have multiple ask access points, AKA a mesh system, or uh, is your home such that you can do fine with just a single access point to, to, you know, broadcast and reach all the, the corners of your home. And that question, you may not know the answer to that question. My guess is you probably have a sense of whether you need that you, and you may already have mesh or, you might be wanting to go that route. So if it's just one router, I really, really like Synology's offerings. Um, the RT6600AX and the WRX560 are the two that I uh, that, that would be sort of the ones that I would recommend right now. Um, they The Synology web interface on their routers is full-featured. And when I say that, I I can't stress enough just how full featured it is. It's fairly easy to use if you're just setting it up and going, but if and when you want to add inbound VPN, great, it's got it right there. You can do all kinds of, you know, DNS tweaking with it. There's all sorts of stuff that remote access to it is very robust and simple and smooth. It's just a great interface and the routers are not underpowered. In fact, that's the wrong way to say it. The routers have plenty of horsepower to do everything you would need to do. So I'm a huge fan of these Synology routers and have been since they got into the router business. I, I, I wondered initially, I don't wonder this anymore, but when they released the first router, the RT 1900 AC, it was like, well, this is sort of a departure for Synology. Is this a one-off kind of thing? Like it was great. And, but I was really hesitant to, you know, go all in and obviously it's not. They've now released, what, five different models of, of router over the years. So, yeah, that, that's where I would go with it. If you need mesh, it turns out the Synology mesh is pretty good. I switched back to it recently and was pleasantly surprised. It, it's, it, it doesn't suck. And you know what? It used to suck, especially for <laughs> Apple users. But it doesn't anymore. And that, that, that's a good thing. They they released it. Every mesh went through this, by the way. This is not unique to Synology. When Eero first came out, it kind of sucked. They needed to get it out into homes and gather data and learn how to get these things together. Orbi was the worst when it came out. Like it, You couldn't do half the things you needed to do. And heaven forbid you took their advice and wired your Ethernet for backhaul between the mesh points. It would just crater your whole system. It was awful. But they've improved on it, right? Like, and so th th this is how mesh goes. This is how a lot of tech goes. You you know, you build it in the lab, you test it, you have maybe a, a group of you know five hundred customers, maybe a thousand customers to do your beta testing. But it's never enough. Y you need more. And with wireless, no one gets to see what's in the way. There's no, and so troubleshooting is really kind of just you need lots of data to to build a something that's robust. So Synology's mesh is there. Um, if you want something simple that is going to work and you, you aren't interested in geeky features or anything like that, the Eero mesh is absolutely fantastic as well. The TP-Link Deco model of or line of routers. We talked about this last week from CES. 
they are budget friendly, high powered mesh system. It, it, I don't, I I'm careful with how I talk about their pricing because their pricing does not match everyone else's. They are half the price or less of everybody else and their quality and, and the, the feature set is on par with everyone else. So they, they just have a way of keeping things inexpensive. So, 